By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to continue with opening Fallen Empires booster packs because we are still on the hunt for the big five. Booster pack number three, and we're off. We're still looking for those big boys. And if you've seen the opening of last week, then you know we actually have one already. So if you've missed that one, click on the info card that's appearing right now. But um, we're now going to look at the opening of our third pack. Hopefully we can find, I don't know, Hand of Justice or something. And this is the first card here, Dwarven Ruins. And that's actually an uncommon, so I guess I should move the top card here exactly. I should move it to the bottom of the pack just to make sure that I don't pull it at the start here. And there's an Initiates of the Ebon Hand, the first common card in the pack. Ecation, a Money Changer. Oh, this is a nice pull. High Tide, beautiful art by Amy Weber. And another Money Changer. Eight cards and a double. And a Thalit. And an Orcish Veteran, and, and ooh, Theon's Chant, okay. It's not what I was hoping for. It's actually quite an interesting card. I think, you know, in some cases it's playable. Obviously you have to sideboard it. So here we kind of see an overview of the whole booster pack. Theon's Chant, actually in Sham for two green and one. It's from Fallen Empires, of course. And it reads, during your upkeep, you have to pay uh, one green or bury Thelon's Chant, and whenever a player puts a Swamp into play, Thelon's Chant deals three damage to him or her unless that player puts a minus one, minus one counter on a target creature he or she controls. So it's kind of interesting. Of course, the problem with a lot of mono black decks is that they're you know, they're not very mana intensive. So they're usually aggro decks, so then the Thelon's Chant doesn't really work that well. And of course, you've got Dark Ritual. But hey, I guess more for the mid-range uh, black decks that are definitely out there. Theon's Chant could be an interesting sideboard card. It's definitely a card that people don't expect you to play, which actually makes it pretty good. Um, well, overall, this booster pack it was a little bit disappointed. So you know what? Let's just open the next one. Booster pack number four. So let's hope that we can hit something big here. I'm hoping, I don't know, Evan Prater, Orc. I mean, just something. I mean, it's, it, it has to be better than the first booster that we opened in this episode, right? Right? Let's take a look. Here we go. First one up, and it's the Feralite Priest. And I think I'm starting with the Uncommons again. Yep, these are the Uncommons. Heroism. Ah. Well, let's take a look. What else can we find here? Goblin Grenade. Actually, a really good card and elvish scout liking the art and oh interesting the crite always like the drew tucker it's very recognizable and another drew tucker here this is a high tight beautiful great card oh it's a drew tucker pack again drew tucker with a mercy and ending it with a krish rush a basil thrall um yeah not really the booster pack I was hoping on. I guess the high tide is really nice. Here we see an overview of what we found here. I mean, you know, Heroism and Fairlight Priest, I believe both of these cards have not been reprinted. So that's something already on the reserve list. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, even if they are, I mean, they're not very useful. Um, high tide, I guess, and Goblin Grenade, those are the two cards that... Um, that I kind of can do something with. Bessel Throne, Necrite, or Nice for a for a Thrall deck, Thrall Tribal. Um, let's take a look here. So we've opened four boosters, and we've only find a we've only found a deep spawn so far. So um, I guess I need to open more Fallen Empire. That's the only good news. 
Um, if you'd like to support the channel, by the way, you can do so by liking, uh, subscribing. If you're not a subscriber yet, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these openings, what you think of the set Fallen Empires. We'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite card, for example? And what are you hoping to open uh, when you're opening a booster pack of Fallen Empires? What card are you looking for? You can also support the show on Patreon. You can become a patron of Timmy Talks. If you want to know more about that, click on the info card that's appearing right now. Talking about patrons, let's take a look at the end scroll. Let's take a look at the patrons of Timmy Talks. Ich kann das Ding, das Sommer gesehen.